Hello, my name is Bill Brown, and with me today is Tom Ryan, and we're here to give you some information on the $7.5 million proposed override. And Tom, can you tell us why and what right we have to be here? Yes, well, first of all, we want to thank Phil Westworth and RCTV for allowing us here, and it's called PEG Access, P-E-G. There are three channels on Comcast and Reading, three channels in the Verizon, PEG, Public Education Government. Now, the government channel is the one you see, the Selectman uh, Conservation Commission, the other various boards. The education channel, you'll usually see the school committee, although others can come forward any education program they want. And P is the public access, which is why we are here. Anyone can come down here, present their ideas, on any subject at all, uh, obscenities, of course, are not allowed, and slander is not allowed. Phil and no one on his staff edits anything you have to say, but if you start swearing, naturally, I mean, that's not accepted. So, Peg, how, how are we allowed to be here? Well, it's called the First Amendment to the Constitution, which says, actually, uh, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition government for a redress of grievances. So, uh, do you have any grievances today, Bill? So this is no, why we have yeah. public access. No, we're we're no, free no, to be no, here. No grievances, Tom. Just, Go uh, ahead. I, again, I think we want to talk to people about Oh, by the way, Tom, how much is this going to cost me if uh, my little house uh, I, I've already got a notice for $561 now. How can anybody find out what it's actually going to cost them? Well, actually, I'll, I'll give an example. And uh, let's take the so-called average assessment, which is uh, $500,000, right? Somewhere around, yeah. Well, that's roughly. Okay, $500,000. You multiply that figure, 500 by the tax rate, 216 tax rate is 1450, it comes to $7,250. But from that you have to subtract the cost of the exclusions, the library and the school, and it comes to, well, I have any of about, basically it is going to cost you, the average household, an additional $976 a year starting July 1st of next year. That's the first year. It increases by two and a half percent each year after that. Now that 976 breaks down to $80 a month. And I'm asking people, can you afford another $80 a month out of your pocket? Now, usually we talk about people on fixed incomes, we refer to senior citizens, people who are retired, people on social security, maybe a pension, but Bill, those aren't the only people who are on fixed incomes. I'm talking about two members of a family out working every day, haven't received a raise this year, didn't get one last year, didn't get one the year before, possibly won't get one next year. Those people are also on fixed incomes and their taxes are going to go up 14%. No risk and answer, but they're gonna cost me $72 a month. Oh, you got plenty of money. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I, yeah. I, I understand, Tom, listening to the Board of Selectmen and others are presenting it. The, the, this uh, override is only for eight years. Uh, am, am I correct? Or, or Wrong, Bo. <laughs> oh, damn. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We're free through this. Enlighten me. Uh, I'll, I'll put a match where it hurts. <laughs> the... We've been through this before, Bill, with the selectmen and also the FinCon, and I've heard the members of the Board of Selectmen say, well, how long is the override going to last? Is it eight years, 10 years? And finally got through to them that an override is a permanent increase. If you look up though, on the uh, uh, Proposition 2 and a half, the override is a permanent increase in the levy limit which is part of the levy base increases at two and a half percent every single year. Now, right now, the levy limit in Reading is 
roughly, roughly $62 million. Mm -hmm. Now, without any new growth, without any override, that amount, the levy limit, will increase by $1,550,000. And the various boards are saying, that is not enough. I say it is. So go ahead, Bill. Well, I, 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 you know, uh, one of my philosophies is, Tom, that uh, nothing's too good for the children. What do you think about that? You know, let's give them nothing. <laughs> and the other thing I hear about, Tom, quite often from the Board of Selectmen and other people, uh, is our so-called peer communities. And I don't live in a peer community. I live in Reading. I care about what goes on in Reading. I don't care too much about what goes on. And it's, it's very interesting. Uh, they are selective when it comes to peer communities. They pick what peer communities they want at any given time. And at that last minute, what meeting was that? Uh, some woman stood up and said, you, you select a community when it to, uh, appear, appeals to you and others when it doesn't. Now, one of our peer communities is Milton. I wonder if they consider us one of their peer communities. I don't know. You see, the average home uh, in Reading is roughly 500,000. The average home uh, house in Milton is $147,000. Peer means equal or of equal value. I, I don't think those two things are equal. No. Like you said, we live in Reading. I don't care what goes on in another well, community. Yeah, and in, in another respect too, Tom, I never heard him uh, say anything about the town of Bill Ricker. And as I understand it for reading in the Globe North, uh, they have not had an operational override since 1982. They tied uh, 13 times, I think, the first year it came out. And the people said no. And finally, I think in 82, they got the word. However, they had had several exclusions. Uh, Wait a minute, Bill. Are you telling me that they have been living within their income? Yeah. Oh, geez, what a novel idea. Well, actually, there was a town in the state that actually had an underwrite. Oh, uh, an, an underwrite? <laughs> Explain an underwrite, Bill. Well, an underwrite, uh, only the Board of Selectmen can vote an underwrite, which means you actually cut your base. And uh, I, I suggested to the Board of Selectmen the day that that happened, it will be hot uh, down below. Yeah, they'll, they'll be selling ice cream cones. Okay. You know, an interesting thing about Prop 2.5, Bill, when it was voted uh, Tuesday, November 4th in 1980, went into effect in 1981. And of course at the time, oh, there was all kinds of doom and gloom. And you know, I've heard this recently. Oh, we're gonna lose teachers, we're gonna cut police, we're gonna, we're gonna cut fire, and we're gonna cut, oh, all kinds of uh, things are gonna happen. We heard this, how many years ago? Well, that? you're right, Tom. Um, if they don't pay the teachers enough money, they're all gonna leave. What happened? And, and, and I can document that. Oh, well, please document it, Bill. Well, the 1916 town report said the same thing, and all those teachers are gone now. And where are they now? Huh? I, I don't know. Maybe I guess we didn't pay them enough. Bill. That's right. Uh, Whatever. But, so. so, getting back to the override, Tom. Go ahead. Uh, the little chart on here. Uh, it gives you. A, you can use this to go on the website, and it'll tell you, within a couple of dollars, exactly how much money you're going to pay. And I think that is it. And also, if you go over to the right a little bit, Tom, in the fine print over there. Yeah, you uh, want to use it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're all right. You can, you can do that. It tells you in there that six point six million is to fix the structural uh, deficit, as they call it right now, and 1.5 is to add new programs. Uh, how many new programs do they need? Yeah, you know, that's an interesting bit about the different programs, Bill. Um, we keep hearing from the various uh, members of town government and so forth, uh, what kind of services do you want? What kind of services do you give up? Well, what kind of services are you talking that you will cut? They don't tell you. Oh, we're going to cut services. Duh. You know, Bill. That's their decision to make, is it not? That's right. It's, you know, next year, I, you're on, uh, you don't mind I ask you, you have Social Security That's uh, correct. Income. Okay. Next year, get this now, we are going to get an enormous raise in yeah, Social Security. Yeah, I know, Security. I figured out. It's $2 a month, Tom. Two-tenths of one percent. Roughly $2 a month. Two, two and a quarter, comes about $30 a year. Yeah, well, Spend yeah, it wisely, Bill. 
Well, I will because uh, my health insurance is going up four dollars and sixty cents a month. Uh, I've already got on, as you did on your light bill and electric bill. I'm excuse me, sewer bill. They're going up next year. And when you say your insurance went up, how much? Four dollars and sixty cents a month. And you're griping? Yeah. Mine went up twenty six a month. Yeah, but you can afford it. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to check my wallet and see see the moths fly out of it? No. Okay. <laughs> But let's get back to this. Go topic. ahead. Uh, I think, again, let's keep it short and swim, simple. If you can afford what you feel is in your house, vote for it. If you don't, please vote no. And by the way, Tom, uh, there's an awful lot of uh, signs around town. Uh, I wouldn't even mention them, Bill. Okay. Uh, there's an awful lot of those signs around town. And I've heard a lot of people say to me, well, I'm not going to go down and vote because my vote won't count. Uh, what do you think about that, Tom? Do you have any uh, background of why you, you should vote and why you should get out to vote? I, I got to tell you a story when I was in college. We, we had a blizzard one night in the Silver Mask. The drama club was voting for a new president, and only eight of us showed up. And I was nominated, another guy was nominated, and the first ballot came out four to four. So the other guy and I left the room, and uh, we came back in, and the vote was in my favor, five to three. One vote. Mm -hmm. The following, in the meantime, that guy ran out of the room. He was a little bit upset. The following Monday, he said, you know, Tom, on the first ballot, he said, I voted for you. He gave me a tie vote. I'm saying to myself, you idiot. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, when the... Yeah, well, who was he, Tom? Uh, his name was on some kind of a bill or something like that. I don't know. He's dead now. It doesn't matter. But uh, he won the presidency by one vote in the House of Representatives. That's that's one vote. So his his the one vote counted then. Uh, yeah, one everyone's vote counts, and people that say, "Oh, I'm not going to bother. My vote doesn't count." You know, I think you go back to the not not the, the CPA. By the way, that lost by eight votes. Yeah. And the meals tax, I, I wasn't a town meeting member at the time, and I figured roughly if I had been there, the meals tax would have failed. Yeah, but Again, we're, one we're, well, look at all the money we got from a town. And it really doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't, huh? Yeah. What does that mean, I don't eat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, have, have we, anything else you want to cover up no, here, No, I Bill? think that wraps it up, Colonel Tom, as far as I'm concerned. Again, if you don't feel that you can afford the override. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the dollar bill that was up there? I kept it. <laughs> Sheesh, I was a guy, yeah. But you notice I put a dollar sign up there. Yeah, okay. And a question mark. How much is it going to cost you? And that I, is I, I would emphasize again, go on to the town's website, and this is a very impartial. This was done by the Board of Assessors that have no ax to grind, no flags to wave or anything else. And if you can afford to do the override, please. If you can't, like I feel I cannot, get out and vote and vote no. Thank you. Exactly. I urge you to do the same. You know, if someone is making $100,000 a year or more, $967, a little less than 1%. But what about people making 30000 30. That 967. I wish I had 30,000. Yeah. Likewise, but that 967 is a good chunk of their income. Like I say, I know based on if the override passes, it's going to cost me $72 a month additional to what I'm already Yeah, but paying. that's only for the eight years, Tom. As eight I eight understand. years, yeah. We finally got through this like when that it's forever, and even, even the FinCon, they're talking about, well, how long will the money last? Hey, folks, an override is a permanent increase in the levy limit, and when added to the base, it increases by 2.5% each year. So a well, final You have two ways of avoiding that, Tom. Move out of town or die. <laughs> or okay. vote, or vote no. So with that, thank you. Vote no. Again, Tom Ryan here, and what, what was your name again? Uh, Bill Brown. Okay. Thank you, folks. And, and with the vote no people. Yeah.